Hey guys, just thought I'd give you an update on 8K and what's going on with that. I did some testing earlier this week and I determined that the motor wasn't running fast enough uh, because, you know, whatever I did to the clutch, it didn't really matter. Tighten it or loosen it. It felt like it was running smooth, but I suspect when I was at 8,000 rounds a minute, what was going on is it was firing one BB every other shot consistently um, because the counter was telling me it was basically doing that now uh, so I got another motor for it and this motor runs even it runs about twice as fast as the 4k motor and I put it in my gun and I figured well okay uh, let's give it a shot with the old clutch setting for 4K. It didn't work uh, 100%, but I could tell all I needed to do was tighten the clutch. <clears throat> so then I got a build. Uh, my buddy sent me one to build um, it into an 8K gun. And um, I built it just like mine, and I tightened the clutch to about 12 and a half ounces which is about four ounces tighter than you would with uh, 4k and I had the original valve in it I just polished it this one's got the titanium valve in it and I was thinking that the titanium valve was going to be needed for 8k but I put this one on 7k and just dumped the whole mag and it was a at or very close to 100 percent and i was really surprised about that um an update on my titanium valve i've probably got maybe 15,000 rounds through it this is the one that i cut to the length of the stock valve and i haven't had any more problems galling and i, I know for a fact that it shoots faster than the stock valve so i'm going to go ahead and leave that one in here but another thing is that these are silicon bronze washers and this was my first choice of material to line the clutches but i couldn't find them in the right size and so what i did was i got some oversized ones and it took me a while to figure it out but i managed to come up with a way to turn turn it down to the right size so I turn this one down and now this is going to be a lot more durable and uh, the steel plate will be able to slide on this a lot better so when you guys um, who have 4k builds where the um, plate starts digging in here and you look at it and you see it kind of checking all around and it's just not firing as good as it used to. It'll take you a long time to get there. But you might want to consider one of these. Now, um, right now, it takes a lot of labor for me to do these. So they're going to be rather expensive if you want one. What I'm going to do now is replace my brass washer uh, with one of those. Okay, so here we have the... Uh, clutch gear out of the gun and the my clutch plate is the one in the middle and I've got it upside down so you can see what I did to it. I smoothed down the corners of these little let me find something to point with these little indentations the three of them as opposed to one that where they haven't been smoothed down it there's a point there at the end. So anyway, what smoothing this down does is it gives it a larger surface area to ride on and it doesn't gouge as it goes around. Because you gotta think, um, since we're in a pulsing system, this plate actually goes around and back like that. So it scrapes it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> so what will happen eventually you can see it start to happen here is 
you'll get little like indentations because of how it moves around but that one hadn't been hadn't been very long since I resurfaced it we're not seeing those indentations that will uh, eventually make your gun start to run rough but the other reason for having this um, silicon bronze washer in there is because since we're applying more pressure to it we want something that is more wear resistant and friction resistant I've showed this uh, in previous videos but a lot of people haven't seen um, a bunch of my old videos but we're still using this and I had one guy tell me the other day, he said, yeah, I've seen all six of your videos. I'm like, oh, thank you. So anyway, um, this is what we do this for. It's so we can inject grease between our clutch plate and brass washer without changing the, uh, uh, the without taking it apart or, you know, changing your clutch adjustment. So we just put that in there like so and then squirt it full of grease. In the location of that hole, I always put it under one of these little lobes that hits your uh, BB agitator so you can find it because it is tiny. And on the underneath here, it is kind of scalloped out so the needle can pass it and go all the way and actually hit the... Um, the, the shaft that it goes on and that way when I go to adjust it with my trigger gauge using the needle as like my trigger basically to find out where the clutch breaks um, I'll always have that same distance in there when it touches on that um, shaft so I take a diamond bit like a needle point diamond bit and then take out this material so it'll correspond with where the needle goes in and then I also cut a notch in, in it right there and that just allows the grease to come up around the shaft and get between the plate and the washer and then I'll do a dry fit and the way I do that is I just press the washer in there and I hold down on it can't do this with one hand and I'll put the needle in and you know make sure the washer is all the way bottomed out and I'll see if it grabs the needle if the needle is completely clear I'll pop it out and then glue it in with some uh, some uh, rubber cement I like to use rubber cement because uh, you can pop these out with it it's not permanent replace them resurface them whatever you want to do before you glue it you're going to want to insert your needle so you don't get that hole plugged up and you will clamp this down with the needle in there and let it cure overnight like that so now we've got it clamped make sure your needle is still free and if you can see there's a lot of excess that squeezed out i don't clean this up um, until the next day because it's rubber cement and you can just pull it off when it dries but I honestly think that having excess come out um, helps cure what's underneath a lot better I've heard one person say that uh, their washer uh, broke free on them it's never happened to me but I think this just gives you an added measure of um, strength and you can also score the bottom of your washer and as well as the top of the gear. So we're going to come back tomorrow and clean this up and I'll show you how to adjust and set your clutch.